Okay, today just do a quick uh, video about uh, Vogel compressor if you're having error 9. So for me, if I have an error 9, the first thing I would check are all the tubings. Sometimes when it's broken and things like that, it wouldn't work. You have an error 9. Next would be uh, the fan belt. So these are the simple checks. If everything is ordered, next you want to look at the solenoid valve. So you can have one of these pen that test for electric current. When it's not running, of course, there's no power. When the compressor starts to run, before it goes into loading cycle, there will be no power. And you will feel a little bit of air escaping from here. Once it goes into the loading cycle, you test it with your pen. There should be electric power. And the leaking from here will stop. So if it doesn't, that's most likely a solenoid valve issue. If that's not the problem, then I would isolate and drain the, the system pressure. You should hear a click sound coming from this area. If you don't hear a click sound, it's likely that your minimum pressure valve is a problem. All you have to do is take it out. Usually there's some corrosion. Try to send it away, put it back and work around with it. It should work. If not, then you have to replace it. The next culprit that can give you error 9 would be the suction regulator or the intake regulator itself. So you, the change is usually just the assembly. You can, you can uh, take it out. If you see signs of corrosion and wear, then most likely you have to replace it. I've tried uh, sending away corrosion and things like that on the suction regulator. Somehow it doesn't work. You will have to replace it to get it to be working again. So I hope this video will help uh, people of the same line working with Vogel compressors uh, who come across uh, error 9 for this. I'm showing it to you on uh, S series but the principles are the same on the C series and some others. Thanks for watching.